One of the founding principles of the MBA program is responsibility. We often associate responsibility and leadership, and we know that leaders are responsible to our shareholders, to their employees, and their customers and clients. But in our program, we expand that concept out and we think about responsibility in a larger sense. And we encourage our students to think about themselves as leaders who are responsible to communities of practice, to communities in where their companies exist, their organizations exist. Um, when they think about their employees, they think about not just their employees' well being, but the people that their employees are responsible to. So their families and friends and communities. Uh, we think about our supply chain, for example. How can a leader be responsible to supply chain and those involved with supply chain? Um, so we take that idea and we expand it out and we really help our students to think about responsibility as not just something that's done for and to a select group of people associated with the organization, but it's a framework by which they approach all decision making within the organization and it guides um, how they see themselves and their role within the organization and their larger community. Sustainability is another key pillar of the MBA program here at Lancaster University. When it comes to sustainability, we often think about it in terms of climate change or the environment, and that is absolutely key for us here at the MBA, which is why we're so pleased to be partnered with the Pentland Center for Sustainability in Business and why so many of our client projects center around enhancing sustainable practices, such as the reduction of waste, more efficient supply chains, or the reduction of resource consumption. Clearly, we have to be more responsible to our planet. We cannot continue as business as usual. Sustainability is deeply rooted in climate change, but the concept is moving beyond that. We have expanded the concept to include issues involving organizational and social sustainability. And within this framework, sustainability means organizations must shift their thinking from short-term gain and move towards longer-term development. Responsible leaders must act in ways that, that enable resilience and agility within their organizations and their communities. Helping students learn how to develop resilience and agility within their organizations will enhance our sustainability within businesses and communities. Of the three foundational pillars for the MBA program, inclusivity is one that you might be less familiar with, but it's an essential element to responsible and sustainable leadership. Interestingly, we are seeing the highest levels of human migration on the planet that we've ever seen. Companies, even local SMEs, are already global and within global reach, global supply chains, and we are working in an increasingly diverse communities. So when we think about diversity and difference, we have to think about inclusion. The important thing is though, token representation in decision-making is not enough. We actually have to create workplaces that are inclusive. People's voices, their opinions, their insights, their expertise must be taken seriously and it has to be included in decision making. That means we have to listen to community leaders. We have to create a diverse workforce that brings in different perspectives and experiences and expertise. We need to be able to respond to all these various elements in our organization, from supply chain to customers, to consumers, to, to employees, to government leaders, to reporting organizations. Um, we have to listen to these voices. I have to admit, one of the things that this pandemic has demonstrated is that when we listen to more voices and actually listen to people who know, listen to experts who have experience and, and insight into particular issues, we make better decisions. We make more responsible decisions and we make decisions that lead towards more increased sustainability. So the benefits of inclusivity are enormous and it's something we have to take seriously, but we have to be smart as well. For far too long, we have treated issues around equality and diversity as simply being counting exercises. We need to make sure we have a certain number of women on our board, or we make sure that there's a certain level of representation from marginalized groups. That is not inclusivity. That's just numbers. That's just counting. We need to be more serious about valuing those opinions, including them and letting them influence how we make decisions so that we can be more responsible and sustainable leaders.